Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a significant move to bolster its ground-based hypersonic weapon capabilities, the U.S. Army has awarded Lockheed Martin, a leading American aerospace and defense company, a substantial $756 million contract. The focus of this contract is to enhance the long-range hypersonic weapon, LRHW, system, marking a pivotal advancement in the nation's military arsenal. This contract entails a comprehensive array of enhancements for the LRHW system, including additional battery equipment, advanced systems, software engineering support, and logistics solutions. The primary objective is to equip the U.S. Army with an unparalleled class of ultrafast and highly maneuverable long-range hypersonic missiles, capable of deployment from mobile ground platforms. At the heart of this initiative lies the LRHW, a testament to Lockheed Martin's cutting-edge technology and commitment to advancing hypersonic capabilities. The LRHW system is designed to deploy the Common Hypersonic All-Up Round AUR, a critical component managed by the U.S. Navy under the Conventional Prompt Strike CPS, program. Comprising the Army Canister, Battery Operations Center, and Transporter Erector Launchers, this system presents a formidable offensive capability. The LRHW represents a quantum leap in hypersonic technology, designed to travel at speeds exceeding Mach 5, rendering it immensely challenging for existing defense systems to intercept. Unlike conventional ballistic missiles, the LRHW boasts exceptional maneuverability during flight, further complicating interception efforts and ensuring precise targeting capabilities. One of the primary objectives of the LRHW is to engage targets at extended distances, empowering the U.S. Army to strike high-value or time-sensitive targets far beyond conventional front lines. Its launch capabilities from mobile ground platforms augment its flexibility and deployment options, significantly enhancing both strategic and tactical capabilities of the U.S. military. Steve Lane, Vice President of Hypersonic Strike Weapon Systems at Lockheed Martin, underscored the company's dedication to fortifying the U.S. Army's hypersonic strike capabilities. Lane stated, Lockheed Martin is proud to continue our strong partnership with the U.S. government for hypersonic strike capability. He added, with this contract, we will support the U.S. Army to sustain the long-range hypersonic weapon system currently in the hands of U.S. soldiers, produce additional batteries for future fielding, and support flight testing. Lockheed Martin's collaboration with the U.S. Army has already yielded significant results, with the delivery of the first LRHW battery, Dark Eagle, to U.S. soldiers in 2021. This latest contract underscores Lockheed Martin's pivotal role in addressing critical national security needs, advancing hypersonic weapon technologies, and ensuring the U.S. Army maintains its supremacy in modern warfare capabilities. The deployment of the LRHW marks a strategic enhancement of the U.S. military's operational reach and response capabilities, serving as a formidable deterrent and combat asset in an ever-evolving global security landscape. As Lockheed Martin continues to push the boundaries of hypersonic technology, the LRHW stands as a testament to the nation's commitment to maintaining its military edge in the face of emerging threats. That's all for now. See you later.